are we doing? Are we good? Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> First and foremost, I do not usually speak in the morning, so consider yourselves blessed. I have to tell you guys this, so when I wake up at 5, okay, I really enjoy waking up at 5 in the morning. I just like having a morning, I like being peaceful and like then going about my day. Obviously, you already saw me wake up, you saw me make my bed, you saw me chug one slot cup. First part of my morning routine, right, I have to chug the one slot cup because I'm not like a, oh, I'll sip it before I have my coffee. No. I'm chugging that shit because I want my coffee, okay? When I set my alarms, I have a 4.45, I have a 5, and I have a 5.05. I woke up, I woke up at 4.46, no alarm. My alarm didn't go off. What the fuck? My, but I, I was like, okay, well, you know, my 5 o'clock alarm will probably go off. I went back to bed. My 5 o'clock alarm didn't go off either. My 5.05 alarm went off. What the fuck, Apple? What the fuck? I just wanted to tell you guys that because I was baffled. I was bamboozled. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. My, my little body was like, girl, it's, it's 4.45. My, Apple, Apple didn't help with that at all. I'm going to be honest with you guys. My morning routine is pretty chill. Like, it's 5.21 right now. I went downstairs. I fed the kitty cats. I made my cup of coffee. And now we're up here, and here are here are the things. First things first. Well, since I posted a YouTube video at midnight last night, I am going to like check my YouTube studio thing and make sure it posted. Um, see if YouTube is acting like Apple, not posting. It did indeed post. That was the first order of business. That's not usually part of the morning routine, but when I have a YouTube video go at, oh, at midnight, I like, like to make sure that it actually happened. Um, Duolingo. Oh, actually, before we start Duolingo, I go to my little habit app. We add one slut cup because I had one slut cup. If you guys don't know what a slut cup is, it's one of these. I feel like everybody just knows by now, but anyway, yeah, I try to drink at least three a day because like 3.2 of them is a gallon. So, okay, but anyway, then I start my little timer. This is my little timer for learning Spanish, so I just start my little timer. I try to do, or I force myself to do five minutes a day. Usually I'll go a little bit longer because my little timer will go off and then I'll still be doing it. Adios. Muy. Y. Abuela. Oh my god, you guys, that was embarrassing. I knew that. Abuela. I was going too fast. Familia. Yo tengo un hijo. Yeah. Mi carro es bonito. Mi carro es bonito. I think he's my favorite character. En. Hijo. Hijo. ¿Dónde? ¿Quieres un té? Is there an accent mark over that for tea? Do you want tea? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. La te. El te. Te. Yeah. Gracias. Yo no necesito dinero. Thank you. I don't need money. Brother. I need to put you guys away because you guys are distracting me. You guys are you guys are making me nervous. Oh look, my little Spanish time is up actually. I think I might just do a unit review because obviously learning learning right now is not is not doing it for me. Okay, I lied. I'm not gonna do a unit review. I'm just not I'm not feeling it right at this current second in time. Um here's what I am feeling. What's next after we do Spanish? New York Times games. Okay? Incredible. I usually start with the crossword, but sometimes I start with Wordle to like warm up my brain. I don't do the, well actually no, my friend and I have been doing the big crossword, but not for like, not for time. We always do the mini for time, like we compete for the time on the mini. But. 
the big crossword. I don't really care how long it takes me. And I only do that towards the end of the day if I'm bored. See, I'm telling you, my, my mornings are pretty chill. I love them. I can't believe I used to just like wake up and go to the gym. Like I used to wake up at 4.45, put my gym clothes on, and go to the gym. Disgusting. I like, I like chilling too much. Okay, Wordle. What word do you guys start? Like, if you guys play Wordle, what's the word that you always start with? Because my friend always does irate. And then ever since that like Wordle bot thing came out, I learned that a do was a good one. My other friend does earth. I tried to do connections and it's a little bit too much for my brain right now. Like the words Baroque, uh, crucifix, what there was, there was just like so many other ones and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? But anyway, it's time to journal. I like to journal in the morning because I feel a lot more present in the morning than I do at night. Um, and I'll do like gratitude and then scripting. So basically just what I'm grateful for and then scripting in terms of affirmations typically of my goals. So like I'll write down my goals in forms of present tense gratitude if this makes sense. So like I'm so grateful that X, Y, Z. My, my goal that like I haven't yet achieved but I'm like I write it down as if I've achieved. So I'm going to do that. Also, usually I have this jazz playlist playing in the morning. It's on Spotify. So for all you Apple Music people, so sorry. Sucks to suck. I don't understand why you like Apple Music. Um, Jazzy Morning on Spotify. I like this one. There's definitely probably some better ones. Because sometimes this one has a little bit too much saxophone. And it really pisses me off. That one's actually pissing me off. There we go. That's a good one. I always like to get ready for the gym just a little bit. I don't know. It just makes me feel a lot more put together. And I feel like it makes it feel like more of a actual thing. Because it's like I didn't just change out of my PJs and go to the gym. Like I actually put a little bit of, put a little bit of thought into it here. I don't wash my face first thing in the morning just because I'm like it's. I'm, I'm about to go fucking sweat everything off anyway and I don't feel the need to wash my face three times a day so I always start by spraying something on my face ever since I got this though this is what I've been spraying on my face right when I like right when I come and sit over here and it kind of just wakes you up a little bit it's the if you guys know what it is you know what it is but if you don't know it's the antimicrobial facial cleanse cleanse away bacteria without drying skin it's a dupe for the tower 28 spray the like hydro yeah this word hydrochloric acid so it's really good it's really good too after the gym you could spray it right on your face and it like kills think of it as hand sanitizer for your face that's what i get out of it i don't know sometimes i go in with like multiple little sprays this one really will wake you up it's literally called vitamin wake up mist it's a citrusy one but the spray of it is so aggressive like okay amazing i'm excited because once this runs out, these bottles are- I love the way they spray. It's from Pixie. My eyebrows are laminated, so I just brush them up and try to- try to make them look cute. I don't do much to them. What was I just thinking about? Um, I don't remember. I don't recall. I don't do this every day, but some days I do, and it just makes me have a better workout. But I'll just curl my lashes and put a little bit of waterproof mascara on. The YSL Lash Clash Waterproof Mascara is is the best. It gives lash lift and tint. Watch. Like, do you see the difference? Obviously you see the difference, but do you see how natural it is? Like, it doesn't look like I have mascara on. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I don't want to wear just a sports bra. Like, I don't want to wear anything cropped. To the gym but i want to wear a tank top but i don't have any tank tops for the gym that aren't like just my sports bra sometimes i wish i was a plotties girly like sometimes i just wish i was like because i 
during COVID times, I had a subscription to the Pilates class. It's literally called the Pilates class. It's like an online thing. And you just do them from home. I had a subscription and I would do her 10 minute like stretch and then I would do her upper body fucking her shoulder workout bro that my shoulders were burning like I was crying tears but I just I don't know I just like lifting weights I guess I can't fight it I can't fight who I am a little pair of hoops in I'm telling you guys even just doing this much to get ready for the gym just makes me feel so much more put together like it just like I, I like to think of it this way like Anytime I'm going anywhere quote unquote serious in my life, like let's say I was going in for a job interview or I was going to meet Mr. Special someone's mom for lunch, like I'm not going to just fucking go. Like I'm going to put effort into myself, like I'm going to look presentable, I'm going to look nice, I'm going to put effort into what I'm wearing and how I look and how I smell and how I, you know what I'm saying? Um, so like if I would do that for other important things in my life, going to the gym is an important part of my day. And yes, is it like 5.30 in the morning? Yeah, but that doesn't mean I can't put effort into what I look like. I wish there was a way I could use face tanner. I've been using this uh, Loving Tan Deluxe face tan in dark on my face and I like it because as you can see, I match my body a lot more than I usually do when I use this. But it also like because I'm tanning, it gets on my dark spots and makes them more prominent obviously because it colored them darker and they already are dark it's okay it's okay one day i just have faith they will fade i want to do chemical peels and my friend peyton is a uh, esthetician like she does facials so i'm like peyton but she's not trying to do peels yet so <sighs> she's gonna fucking get with that program i can't decide what i'm gonna do with my hair because i i actually like could see my hair not needing to be washed today and like I can like do something to it and I'm actually liking it down right now which you guys know that doesn't usually happen so I don't want to like slick it back but also I'm like if I leave it down because I'm gonna do 25 minutes on the stairs after my workout I'll, I'll be sweaty regardless of what I'm doing Sometimes I pick my gym outfit before, like the night before, and then other times I leave it up to the day of. And recently I've just been leaving it up to the day of just because I'm enjoying it. Like, I'm like, oh no, I actually don't want to, I don't want to commit to something and then have to change it in the morning. See, I could wear leggings, but I'm not really like that big in the leggings. We could go for a gray moment, but I don't want to wear leggings. They're just so like intimidating to me. Also, oh, that's right. I'm gonna get my period either today or tomorrow. Don't know which day. So I probably should wear like dark colors. They need to invent something that you could wear up there for when you don't know if your period will come in the middle of whatever you're doing. Because I'm so sick of having to plan, plan around my fucking period. And I don't want to put a tampon in when my period's not there because one, it'll hurt to take out. Two, that's not good for your body. Or I could wear shorts. Shorts are my comfort zone. Like, I am not comfortable in leggings. I feel very exposed in leggings. Shorts, I feel great in. Also, I don't know if I want to do back and buys or shoulder and tries. I can wear my brown shirt, do like a brown and brown outfit. We can do a cropped white shirt. My spray tan will still come off on it, but this material is a little bit thicker. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Here's my thing recently. I just haven't been fucking with crop tops because I lost my abs. Now, I know that on my TikTok, I'm preaching like wear what you want, wear, my, wear what makes you feel comfortable. I don't know if I'm comfortable in this. I don't know if I feel like... How cute would this be? Brown headband? Hello. That's adorable. Hmm. Huh. I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, I think we're gonna go with my brown top instead because this is a full length top and I can pull it down if I really want to. I kind of want it cropped right now though. I'm feeling a cropped vibe. I don't know why, but I feel like it's just making my outfit cuter. <laughs> perfume. Gym perfume of the day. Hmm, let's see, let's see. A lot of times I go with a YSL Libre just because I know that it's very 
present. I have been liking this one though, The Soft Spot by Fleur and then Radiant Grace. Mm. Glossé is always a good choice though because she does smell good. She smells, oh wow, I'm almost out of it. You guys see? It's right there. Like that's where it, damn, I did not know I used this much of it. Well, let's just finish her. I think one time my scent really offended a man because I was on the stairs and then he, the only one left was the one like right next to me or right next to somebody else. He got up next to me. He didn't even like start it and he was like, he got right off. And I was like, oh, I don't think he liked how I smelled, which is fair because if, if you're like sensitive to scents and you're working out, I can understand that. That's that's very valid. I get it. I wasn't too offended because of like at least I know I smell good. I think I brushed my teeth like a little too aggressively. Okay. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. It's 6:23 right now. When I wake up at five, I I do try to leave at six because usually what I had been doing recently, I'm trying to get back on my five o'clock wake up okay but what I was doing before as I was waking up at 5 30 I was doing my whole morning routine and I would end up leaving for the gym at 6 30 so basically we're doing that now but also I needed oh, there's so many people out walking their dog I need to take into account the fact that I'm vlogging obviously like I need to take into the account the fact that you and I are hanging out so that makes sense this bird is entertaining me it's 6:24. What am I saying? I know what I'm saying, but I don't know what I'm. I don't know how to say it. I love going to the gym when there's no school traffic. Like usually there's a bunch of traffic because you know people are taking their kids to school, but it's summer. Oh, you're gonna cross the street right now. Okay, awesome. <laughs> interesting. People in the morning honestly do the most interesting things. Like I, like that man. I was coming at him. He's like, no, I'm actually gonna cross the street right now. Oh, they put a cross. Wait, no, that crosswalk is always been there. Anyway, um, yeah, I started my period. So, you know, it's nice to know that it's here. Crazy to think. Well, one, nice to know that it's here. Two, makes sense why I'm like, oh, like I don't wanna wear a crop top right now. You know, cause whenever I'm on my period, I always get bloated and not usually outwardly, but like wide. I don't know how to explain it. Or maybe my brain, my brain just like sees me differently. I don't know. But anyway, what I listen to on the way to the gym, it depends on the day. For example, Mondays, the basement yard comes out and Morbid comes out. And if you listen to Morbid on Amazon Music, there's no ads, so it's a lot easier. And also, that's a part two of the one I listened to on last Thursday, so I might have to fuck around and listen to that one. And then, <sighs> The basement yard, usually I like to listen to when I'm getting ready because guess guess who is in the middle of watching the last episode of Criminal Minds? Me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do on the stair stairs this morning. Like what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to keep myself entertained? Recently it's been nice because, is that, what is that? No, okay. I thought that was like something, like an animal. Anyway, it's been nice recently though because it's like I'll get 15 minutes in and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm almost done. That was when I was doing 20 minutes, but I decided I'll go back to 25 because I used to do 30. And then I just decided that, that it took too long. It was annoying me. So I was like, let's drop it down to 20. But then I would check and be like, oh, it's only been like eight minutes probably. It was 15. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, for any of you that do the Stairmasters and you don't sweat and you don't get the machine like absolutely soaked, how do you do that? I swear I'll be on it for four minutes and I'm already like dripping. I just, I sweat a lot though. Like I'm a sweaty motherfucker, which is so annoying, but it's okay. Cause you know what? If you're like a hot person, scents smell a lot better on you. So my perfumes work better when I'm sweaty. Don't know, don't count on me filming in the gym. Don't count on that ever. It's just, maybe if I were to go at a time that I don't normally go to like film my workout, sure. Morning time? Mornings are just so like my time. Look. Do you see it? 
Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah, the camera's not even doing it justice at all. It's like, what kind of orange even is that? Imagine if an orange, like a real live orange, was just glowing. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Sorry, we're so zoomed in. Um, yeah, so anyway. I might film a little, and I might not film anything at all. You know what I'm actually upset at myself for? Last week, on Tuesday, I actually did film in the gym a little bit. Like, not a lot. I was doing legs. And I ended up not editing the vlog together and posting it because I didn't like it. So maybe I'll put that in there, that little clip. Should be like, Kat, why are you not, why are you not working out in the same outfit? Because, bitch. Because. Actually, I don't bank on that either because I don't know if I deleted that footage. <laughs> anyway. Holy shit. Do you see the, the sweat? Holy tits, bro. All right. I can't wait to chug water. Give me a moment. Delicious. Okay. Uh, it's 7.59. It's time to go home. Today, I work from home. Like, I'm just filming all day. So that's really nice. Because, like, the days that I work at Tanland in the morning... If I do go to the gym, I go earlier. But honestly, I haven't been on my like five day week gym grind recently. And I'm not really that upset about it. Like some, some months I'm really, really good and I literally will be there five days a week, every single week. And then other months I'm just like, whatever. Recently, I've been a little bit more focused on my work and just making sure I'm getting everything in order. And I think it's probably because I am a big planner. Like, I don't care if the things I'm doing, let me let me rephrase this. Let me go to the parking lot and I can actually focus on what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's not my fault. You took that turn so bad. I hate when people fucking look at you like it's your fucking problem. Like, no babe, you don't know how to drive. I was I was where I was supposed to be. Sorry. Anyway, um, one time I was turning into that turning lane that I just turned into, and um, I, I, I was turning into the turning lane because I knew that there was a car coming. I'm gonna have to send this. It was still uh, yellow when I went through it. Um, anyway, whatever, regardless. <sighs> what was I saying? Oh, I'm, I like planning. I love to plan, like you guys have seen my notion. I love to plan and I'm the most productive when things are literally planned out so heavily. Like literally, if you look at some of my to-do lists, it literally would be like five o'clock, wake up, chug a slot cup, make bed, make coffee, journal, Spanish, New York time games, get ready for the gym, leave for the gym by 6.30, workout, breakfast, shower. Like it's so specific because I think I think if I give my brain like free will to just like whatever, I I am a procrastinator and I am a dilly dallier. And I know this about myself. So the way that I counter it is by heavily, heavily planning. So like the fact that I have every single YouTube video that I'm gonna film planned for the next month is amazing for me. It, it really is. It's truly incredible. I do need to plan like the actual substance of the next Pretty Princess Command Center because I'm filming it tomorrow. I'm filming it tomorrow and I think tonight, well I know tonight I'll plan it because there's no other time to plan it other than tonight. But uh yeah I and I it's because I know that I'm going it's because I know that I'm leaving at the end of the month for a trip and I'm 90% sure Mr. Special Someone is coming down like home for a week beforehand and I want to just make sure okay you have to just choose where you're going goodness grief anyway um so yeah basically I just want to make sure that I have the most amount of time 
where I'm not worried about working and I'm not worried about like, oh no, I didn't do this. So I have to like really quickly scrap something together just so I can post it, you know? Like I feel like for the last, I think for like 2022, but when did I live in my apartment? 2023 so the year of 2023 I lived in my apartment so the year of 2021 and 2022 I was really really focused and really good at building social media and like building my career and then I think 2023 like when I lived alone it just kind of plateaued and I I stopped and I also was with a shitty management company that was um oh interesting campaign people <laughs> Um, yeah, basically, like, they were literally, they were like, no, don't post on YouTube anymore. Like, you're wasting your time posting on YouTube. And I was like, what does that mean? Like, and they were like, well, you're not growing. And I was like, well, well yeah, because how do you expect me to grow up? I'm not going to post. They were just, they were just money hungry. And like, yes, obviously, you want to make money in your job. But at the same time, like, if you're in a creative space and you're, in a space where you actually want to build a community with people and like care about people and create a safe space like you can't just be fucking like after the money like obviously there's a good perk of being an influencer being a content creator like the perk is like you get paid pretty well you get free products like you get you know what i mean like there's perks for sure there's no health benefits there's no there's no like realistic benefit to it other than free shit and money which is great but like whatever there's pros and cons of every job um but yeah anyway I'm just I don't even know where we were going other than the fact that I just know that I'm at a place mentally where I'm like this will be exactly what I want it to be and it, it, it there's literally no, like no other option like there's no other option there's no option for this to fail there's no option for this to be oh well I tried and it didn't work there, there's no option the only option is success and um the only way that I will make success happen is by fucking doing the work so that's why long story short that's why I haven't really cared if I've been in the gym five days a week like I've been a lot more focused on getting my shit done and like you know just prioritizing my job and my career and yes I could do both and yes I could be a lot more flexible like sometimes I'll be done editing by like seven o'clock it's like I could still go to the gym but whatever I'm not too worried about it not too worried about it can you guys guess what i'm making can you guess what time it is Yay, it's egg bagel with frank's red hot time i finally finished criminal minds i watched i had like 20 minutes left of the last episode i think so it was perfect when i was on the stairs i'm so sad it's over but i know that they have the i think it's like the evolution or something and it's the next it's like guys what the fuck I'm almost out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I will be going to the store later because I need more plain bagels and I need more Frank's Red Hot. Ew, a glob of it just came out. I don't trust that. Mm -mm. I'm not into that. 8.24 right now, so I'm gonna eat my bagel in peace. It is exactly nine o'clock right now. I just got out of the shower and we're good to fucking go. We are good to fucking go. Okay, normally on these days, I don't start filming till 10 because I get out of the shower at nine and then I, well, I'll probably start filming at 9.30 because I'll do my makeup, but I'm filming a makeup video today. So I need to do my skincare, dry my hair, all that good stuff, obviously. On the days where I have somewhere to be at 9 o'clock, this whole routine would shift like 30 minutes earlier. But for the most part, that's my little routine. I'm almost done with my second slut cup. I need to take my vitamins. Um, the vitamins that I take, I couldn't really tell you that. I know one of them's like Zyrtec. One of them's fenugreek because fenugreek makes you smell like maple syrup when you sweat. Almost done. Let's, let's take off the vitamins on the... Ready? Yay! All right, well, that was my little morning routine. That's what I like to do every morning. Um, obviously, some mornings look a little bit different, and some mornings I don't go to the gym, some mornings I do go to the gym, like, whatever. But for 
<sighs> my favorite morning routine is the one that I just did. It's amazing, glorious, lovely. So on that note, I'm going to do my skincare and I will see you guys when I see you. So I hope you have a good fucking day.